but I think it's time that you guys get to know me a little bit better and hopefully that'll make you feel a little bit more invested in this YouTube channel and where it's going in the future. So that's me. My name is Morgan Hass, going to school at James Madison University, which is one of the uh, better business schools in the country. And I'm currently studying to get my marketing. And I have absolutely no clue what I'm going to do with that. Almost no job searching at all, which is a pretty bad idea considering how bad the job market is. I really should start setting up like in, um, interviews with the people. So you might be wondering why I have not covered Shadows and Change much over the last several weeks. And the answer is pretty simple. 25 is nothing. Bruh. If I go out to dinner with friends, have two drinks and an entree, I can spend twice that easily, tip included, and not even necessarily at a fancy restaurant. Ultimately, the community could be fine and grow accustomed to this new direction with $25 of DLC. A couple other things I want to talk about. Please stop demanding that Total War content creators boycott the Total War DLC. Just come into my channel and demanding the people whose job it is to cover Total War, not make content about the newest Total War product is ridiculous and entitled to demand that someone stop making money and supporting themselves. Each and every one of us buys products from or tacitly supports companies who do very evil things on a daily or weekly basis. Your intellect is as weak as your dollar. Failure is your destiny. You disrespect yourself and your nation. You are made of stupid. On the subject of criticism, a lot of people seem to have a serious misconception about what we are allowed to do, especially before review embargoes. The massive amount of feedback is given to the devs internally long before anything becomes public. The Zinch Warriors reveal and pre-release for Game 3. That discussion was literally started by me, directly led to Champions of Chaos in those very units. has made a huge impact on the series that is one of thousands of examples is a sponsored video courtesy of creative assembly oh my god it's happening everybody stay calm we got big news on the way what the next major dlc for total war warhammer 2 might entail are already dropping and welcome back on the hype train there will be a pre-order dlc and collector's edition bonus which i think is very fair but i don't think that it's particularly anti-consumer definitive and climactic endgame an experience unlike any other total war title today the exclusive campaign awesome it's fun as hell i don't fault creative assembly for creating a narrative campaign i'm having a blast with the game so far there are tons of quality life improvements some really entertaining campaign gameplay a bunch of it maybe somewhat over tuned <laughs> a bunch of new features I'm rich, boys. It's that simple. The core gameplay is build super tall and turtle like crazy, and much of your time spent realm jumping just amounts to end turn spamming, which is hardly a scintillating experience. Arguably the worst campaign experience, outdated mechanics, an incomplete roster, and limited replayability. I've quite literally never fought a defensive siege battle in Warhammer 3 on a walled settlement. Not a single time in any of my campaigns, ever. If you'd like to support the channel, I will have an official Sega partner link where I will earn commission through every sale. The website's name is Exala, and it is quite literally the official avenue for Sega Partners. So the synergies in spellcasting here are out of this world. One thing I will say about this game, it is goddamn gorgeous, dude. The game is way better optimized, basically provided the framework for their army roster itself. Now, I really like what CA did with it. It's an interesting way they showed that Legendary Lords will have control of the sword. Unit experience in battle is bugged right now, and it is bugged hard. Battleless servers straight up not working, performance issues flaring up across a wide variety of systems, and bugs. Bugs galore. Bugs everywhere. Crossbows and handgunners oftentimes just won't fire. There's a whole host of problems on that front. Warhammer 3 is lacking some polish currently. It has some weird design decisions, and for some people anyway, seems to discourage replayability. Time has come for me to show for myself. Every awesome Champions of Chaos DLC, whose pre-orders are live now. 10% discount will be available until August 30th. These amazing units and faction diversity and all this cool stuff. More importantly, it isn't fun. How is it fun to not get to play the battle when you're playing a battle? Can you explain that to me? Can anyone explain to me how in a strategy game that is about spectacle and about fighting cool battles in a game called Total War, that not getting to play the battle is a solution? There are lots of women that I enjoy watching have sex. It's entertaining to watch, uh, at least occasionally partake in, come in the first 30 seconds. 